I would just like to reintroduce uh, Dr. Marcel Assad to the stage now uh, with the theme he's going to present on cardiac spiritism and its interface with healthcare. Um, thank you very much. So I will talk here about the spiritism and its interface with healthcare. We start saying that the since the late 19th century, renowned scientists from Europe and the United States took interest in anomalous phenomena of consciousness. Special research societies uh, used scientific methodology to study empirical findings that were at odds with conventional conceptions of science. Some researchers went on Despite strong opposition from the academic thinking and the great difficulty in publishing results, commonly such disconcerting phenomena are called paranormal or supranormal and classified as parapsychological occurrences. Sometimes their explanation is associated with the idea of spirit meaning the immaterial intelligence essence of the person. E each ancient practice, religious tradition, and contemplative approach has its own conception to explain how consciousness may be independent of brain activity. Among them, perhaps the most structured is spiritism. So, this is a, a phenomenon uh, in the late 19th century that are the turning uh, tables that uh, are amusement for people at that epoch um, dedicated to um, entertain people and that some phenomena occurred and uh, uh, one person dedicated the life to study this phenomena that is a, a fun a, an amusement to study it scientifically. Spiritism is not synonym of spiritualism, but is a particular interpretation of many spiritualist concepts. Spiritism was organized in France by the teacher and educator Hippolyte Lyon Denisard Rivayou also known by his uh, pseudonym, Alain Kardec. By the mid-19th uh, uh, century, he made a rational uh, investigation of communication with spirits. He compiled the answers provided by the spirits for questions regarding the origin of the spirits, the purpose of life, the order of the universe, the evil and the, the good, and the afterlife. Thus, Kardec was one of the first scholars to engage on a scientific investigation of spiritual phenomena. His proposal was described as follows. Spiritism is at the same time oh, spiritism is at the same time an observational science um, philosophical doctrine. As a practical science, it consists of the relations that can be established between us and the spirits. As a philosophy, it understands that the moral consequences arising from such relations. Spiritism is a science which deals with the nature, origin and destiny of spirits, as well as their relationship with the material world. This is the definition uh, Kardec gave to spiritism. And this is the first book he wrote, the book of spirits, in the late uh, 19th century. Besides science and philosophy, 
Spiritism has also a religious branch, adopting the teachings of the Gospels as the moral guideline for humanity. So this is the tripoid of the Spiritism, science, philosophy and religion. Spiritism brought new and more profound concepts with respect to God, the universe, the human being, the spirits and the laws which govern, which govern life itself. Furthermore, it discusses what we, as human beings, are, where we have come from, where we are going to, what is the objective of our existence, and what is the reason for pain and suffering. The Spirit's codification is a set of laws and principles, and uh, it has concepts about many questions related <clears throat> to virtually every human sphere. Since its origin, Spiritism provides some insights to many <clears throat> of topics that fall <clears throat> within the domain of healthcare. Um, so, uh, Spiritism can explain uh, our relation with the spiritual world. Um, here is illustrated the consequence of uh, suicide uh, in that uh, figure when the spirit contemplates the, the act uh, and uh, regret it. Uh, the um, spiritual sphere on um, a religious meeting and uh, the self-regrets of the past that uh, we committed, uh, the crimes we committed. And the uh, uh, tenets of the spiritism related to healthcare, I uh, already uh, said that are these ones. The spirit is the transpersonal, ethereal, and immaterial essence of the human being, in letter A. In letter B, the nature of the spirits is related to an immaterial reality that is beyond our current capacity of consistent access. In letter 3, when the spirit is incarnated in a physical body, it is called soul, because some of its characteristics are blocked by matter. In the letter D, physical and mental diseases are at least partially determined by an imbalanced state of the soul dynamics. In the letter E, the soul is responsible for all mind pr properties which are manifested through the brain activity. F, in some states of consciousness, the mind can capture information beyond the physical senses. G, spirits may influence physiological and psychological states of individuals, either benefically or harmfully. H. Ostensible communication of spirits with men occurs through mediums, usually by means of writing or speech. I. After the brain death, the soul keeps its individuality and the personality from the previous experience. And J, as spirits have to pass through many incarnations, they bring to the new existence everything acquired in the past lives. <coughs> so this is the main tenets of the spiritist related to health. For the last 150 years, Spiritism has spread to many countries and the International Spiritist Council is an organization resulting from the union of associations representing Spiritist movements in each country. Brazil is the country it flourished most and where the most significant number of followers can be found. The form into which Spiritism was evolved in Brazil is very peculiar. 
While Spiritism emerged essentially as a like movement, it took contours of a religious denomination in Brazil. The 2010 Brazilian demographic census found Spiritism is the third most declared religious denomination adopted by 2% of the population, corresponding to 3.8 million people. This number may even be underestimated due to the large number of people who may have a latent interest about Spiritism, attending Spiritist meetings and reading Spiritist books, although declared to belong to other religion. A large portion of the country's population share some beliefs with Spiritists, such as the life after death, uh, the reincarnation and spiritual influence over people. The um, Spiritism has uh, many to thank to Dr. Bezerra de Menezes in Brazil that founded the Brazilian Spiritist um, Federation. And um, we um, also have many to thank to Chico Xavier, already cited here, uh, one of the most prominent mediums in the world um, that was cited by Dr. Fenwick. And uh, this culture of spiritism is uh, so spread that this is the, the movie in the news uh, about Kardec. Uh, Brazil produces many movies uh, related to spiritism. Netflix available. Netflix available. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, spiritism uh, respects all religions and doctrines, values, all efforts towards goodness and uh, works toward peace and uh, fellowship. All spiritist practices are gratuitous and as they are uh, and their practitioners do not impose its uh, principles to the beneficiaries. Spiritism is widely identified in Brazil with charitable uh, works and social assistance. The Spiritist Center is the basic unity of organization of Spiritism in Brazil. Since they are not ordinary religious entities, their activities are of many types. Doctrinal education, spiritual religious assistance, and social material assistance. Practices commonly developed in Spiritist Center for humanistic support include prayer, doctrinal counseling, fraternal welcoming, and uh, intimate reformation that is called a uh, moral revision of the, the person. So, uh, Spiritist Center uh, with uh, lecturers and uh, activities with uh, young people and uh, the mass of people that go to the, the spiritist centers in Brazil. Among the various activities in spiritist centers, most goers search spiritism due to physical and mental health problems. Specific therapeutic approaches were uh, developed to prevent and to restore a balanced spiritual energetic state. Uh, continuing, uh, counting on the, the help of benefactor spirits. Spiritist centers in Brazil are highly sought after due to their healing practices. Thus, Spiritist centers work as an informal supplementary health support system. Since uh, faith basic organization are relevant to public health, especially in the low income population. Uh, Brazilian research on the treatments offered in spiritist centers showed that the main reason for seeking spiritist centers was the health problems. In first place, depression followed by cancer and other diseases. 
other motivations, such as uh, relationship problems and uh, disorders associated to mediumship, came only later. The so-called spiritist complementary therapies, that are a range of therapeutic uh, resources intended to restore health, include the passi, that is the laying on of hands, the dispossession therapy, the release from persistent negative influence of discarnate spirits within a person that is termed obsession, and the fluid therapy, the magnetized water. This is a demonstration of the spiritist pass, the laying on of hand technique, assisted by the spirits. Um, this is the disobsession uh, activity when uh, the mediums will help the person to release from a bad influence of other spirit. Mediumship, here's Chico Xavier, a psychographing uh, uh, books or also letters from, uh, from the deceased people to their relatives and uh, fraternal embracing and uh, uh, gospel studies applied to the, the current days. Besides the thousands of spiritist centers throughout Brazil, there also are many spirited-oriented hospitals, as I cited. Spiritism has been strongly connected with mental health in Brazil. During the 20th century, dozens of spiritist psychiatric hospitals emerged seeking to integrate conventional medical treatment with complementary spiritual therapy. These hospitals combine conventional psychiatric treatment with spiritual therapies on a non-indoctrination and optional form. According to Spiritism, some neurological and mental disorders may be aggravated by spiritual obsession, the term above mentioned. In some, it possess an organic brain predisposition. The spiritual influence are not uh, the direct cause of the disorder, but may be a factor associated. Uh, Spiritist uh, Psychiatric Hospital, Institute of Bayhau, founded 80 years ago, is the largest mental health complex in Latin America. And it's uh, faith based on spiritism, and uh, uh, many of its um, activities are philanthropic. Out of the spiritist uh, institutions for inpatients on general hospitals, the movement of spiritist chaplaincy is gaining force in Brazil. Some initiatives started on a few spiritist groups and to the first impressions, this model is well accepted by the assisted patients, by the healthcare staff, and by the institution managers. In short, Spiritist proposal to promote health composed in an important movement in Brazil with activities intended to be complementary to the conventional treatment. Activities are developed in many different environments offered to goers on Spiritist Center assisted people in spiritist orientation institution and in patients in general hospitals. So um, this is the Hospital das Clinicas, the largest in uh, Latin America, uh, in Brazil, uh, that admits the spiritist uh, workers to make a hospital chaplaincy there. <coughs> The, um, uh, the large uh, people's demand for the spiritist healing practice gave rise to interest in describing them uh, scientifically. Dariat, in 1968, a group of Brazilian physicians interested in the interface between medicine and spiritism doctrine created the first spiritist medical association. 
This initiative inspired others uh, over the years, the creation of dozens of regional spiritist medical associations in Brazil. Later, this ideal overcome international borders with the foundation of the Spiritist Medical Association International in 1999, idealized in Brazil, which encouraged the founding of other institutions with the same interest in several countries. Currently, there are 10 other national Spiritist Medical Associations in the Americas and in Europe, besides the Brazilian one. The newer one is hosting this event, the British Spiritist Medical Association. So, this is the original group, 51 years ago, that founded the uh, Spiritist Medical Movement. And uh, uh, the Dr. Marlene Nobri is a figure that uh, created the uh, Spiritist Medical Association International, and uh, is thanks to, the, to, to, to her, we are gathered together. Cabo? Um, ah, <laughs> uh, We are gathered together today. The Spiritual Medical, the Spiritist Medical Association, aim to a change uh, to a more humanized medicine with a pretension of presenting to the world a renewed vision of the human being. Along these decades, all the Spiritist Medical Association developed many actions related to education, research, and assistance. The Spiritist Medical Model of Health and Treatment ventures to fill some gaps in scientific knowledge, thus accelerating the advancement towards a paradigm shift in medicine. Conventional clinical approaches may be enriched with open-minded debates about issues such as the relation of spiritual body with health, reincarnation as a cause of some diseases, communication with spirits as cause of some disturbances, and healing process through spiritual energies. All the spiritual medical associations develop continuously many uh, actions to study these principles aiming the clinical application of their findings. Uh, some members of Spiritual Medical Association of Brazil uh, published their research on reputable uh, peer-reviewed medical journals. Uh, the most, more recent uh, publication is uh, this book we organized this year where I wrote a specific chapter about spiritism and medicine. Many spiritist dictates have potential to answer some questions about the human nature which can contribute to understanding some unexplained or misinterpreted phenomena. Some phenomena elicit special interest as they have direct connection with healthcare practice. This phenomena include the unconventional healing processes, such as the laying on of hands, uh, the distant healing intention, and uh, the spiritual trans surgery. Also includes odd mental processes, processes delivering uncommon information, such as the communication with deceased and the memories of past lives, and uh, transcendental uh, consciousness in extreme situations, such as the near-death experience and the end-of-life experience. These are some uh, activities of the Spiritist Medical Movements, uh, activities in Europe, um, activities in, in Brazil with uh, um, 2,000 attendants in universities and 
um, in publications in uh, good uh, journals. The possibility of the existence of the spirit and the, res the spirit and the resulting implications for medicine for this conjecture is a thorny but needful uh, uh, field. A paradigm that includes the spirit would uh, broaden the concepts of health, disease, treatment and care. In a true biopsychosocial spiritual interpretation of the human being, the proponents of the spiritist medical model think that many spiritist concepts are correspondent and complementary to the scientific conjectures of non local mind and brain independent consciousness. In conclusion, nearly 150 years ago, on its creation in France, Spiritism was conceived as a scientific, philosophical and religious system for human development. At that time in Europe, the scientific aspect prevailed, supporting research of some psychic phenomena. More than 100 years ago in Brazil, the religious dimension prevailed alongside with practices for health purposes. About 50 years ago, the Spiritist Medical Association structured the possible interface between medicine and spiritism following a scientific methodology. Currently, scholars and researchers linked to this ideal are trying to sue and uh, all these fields in a continuous fabric. Who knows if in the next 50 years this constant dialogue joining science, philosophy and religion will fade away the borders between these disciplines. At this point, the humanity will face a real paradigm shift with deep consequences for healthcare. The so far experience of the spiritist medical model may serve as a roadmap towards this new reality. This is my message and I thank you for your attention. Thank you.